And let's take some different cases. Find the number of permutations of word roses. Now, if you notice carefully, the word roses comprises of R O S E S. So there are basically two S here. And N is equal to 5. Right? Now, there is a theorem which says that when, this is a probability theorem, when a particular object is of same kind, let's say P, number of permutations is equal to factorial n upon factorial p. Now what does this mean? This means that in a word roses, s which is of same kind, let's say p, has two elements. So therefore the permutation will be factorial n which is 5 upon factorial p. p basically refers to the number of times this particular object occurs. So s occurs two times, so p is equal to 2. So this becomes factorial 2, which you can also write as 5 into 4 into 3 into factorial 2. which gives you 60. So what it says is that if in certain given objects, any particular object, let's call that object P, repeats itself, then the permutation instead of the normal formula which you have changes from that to factorial n which remains the same. The denominator instead of n minus r factorial changes to p factorial where p is the number of times this object repeats itself. Now 